Well, good morning. This is Pastor Jay uh, with your Friday devotion. And once again, I'm out here in the gazebo just next to the church building. And on the day I'm recording here, it's raining. And I think that's a great uh, background for what we want to talk about today with the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, Isaiah 55 tells us that God sends the rain to water the earth and to give life and to nourish it. In the same way, I believe the Holy Spirit is given to us to keep the church strong. And so let's look at what uh, Luther says in his small catechism about it. Here we go. The third article. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, the one thing that trips people up in there all the time is the word Catholic. Now, you'll notice that it's Catholic with a small c. And that's because we're not talking about the Roman Catholic Church here. We're believing in the Catholic or universal church of all who believe in Jesus Christ, all who look to him for salvation, our brothers and sisters in all the Christian churches here in Peachtree Corners and in the world, actually. And so that's what it's talking about. And here's what Martin Luther says about it. What is this or what does this mean? His answer, I believe that by my own understanding or strength, I cannot believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. But instead, the Holy Spirit has called me through the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, made me holy, and kept me in the true faith. Just as he calls, gathers, enlightens, and makes holy the whole Christian church on earth and keeps it with Jesus Christ in the one common true faith. And then he goes on. Daily in this Christian church, the Holy Spirit abundantly forgives all sin, mine, and those of all believers. On the last day, the Holy Spirit will, Spirit will raise me and all the dead and will give to me and all believers in Christ eternal life. This is most certainly true. So the Holy Spirit is the power of God. The Holy Spirit is that which gathers us together as a congregation, keeps us strong, gives us the energy and the power we need to do God's work. In a lot of ways, it's like the rain falling around me right now. It is what nourishes us and what keeps us on the right track. So let's have a prayer as we conclude our devotion today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit. Lord, you sent it to us on the day of Pentecost to build your church, to keep us strong, to forgive our sins, and give us the power to reach out. Oh Lord, bless us through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Keep us ever close to you. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, God bless you on this Friday, and have a great weekend.